My AK break a heart. Welcome back, guys, to four again of TM and this is ten times the show broke our hearts. Stand out, no, no. According to Screen Rant, we're doing a couple of reactions to these, so let's see how it goes. Sons of Anarchy, ten times the show broke our hearts. Sons of Anarchy was an action-packed thrill ride, but it could be done right heartbreaking times. Will there be any surprising inclusions here or surprising admissions? Let's see. Number ten. Jack's forcing Wendy to do substances. This didn't really, this didn't really break my heart. I mean, it was just Jack's doing what he thought it had to be done to, you know, save his family. I mean, that is pretty much what happened. Um, I mean, it's not like he killed her or anything. I mean, yo, know, it's a very scummy thing for Jack's to do, but it broke her heart. I mean, I guess you could argue it's Jack's going deeper. Um, you know, <laughs> coming a bit more brutal. But uh, for me, it didn't break my heart. Opie's sacrifice. I don't really understand how we can have Jax injecting Wendy with a wee bit of speedball into my arm. And then Opie getting a, a lead pipe into my head. <laughs> this should be like number one, right? You know, it, it should be number one. It ain't number one. Well, I mean, I guess there's no real order here. Um, Tara's death, again... Like, I just don't understand. Were they struggling to find, like, a tenth moment and they had to put Wendy getting injected on? I mean, that might be how things have went here. Uh, what was up next? Um, Jax says farewell to the kids. Fans of the show knew that as Jax was saying goodbye to his boys, we all knew we'd never see him again. He only knew the way to leave the gang was to sacrifice himself. He gave up custody of the boys to Wendy. Nero, his heartful goodbye would choke up anyone. Yeah, it was really sad. Um, like Nero putting on the sunglasses to hide his tears, Jack's looking at them as they drive off, as Nero looks at him. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant acting. It's fucking phenomenal, man. It's, it, it, it tugs on the heartstrings. Like, a, a really underrated moment for me is that scene between him and Nero at Telemoro because it just it, it just shows you, like, how many people have died. Like, Tel Telemoro is done. Like, it's sad. Like, the club isn't even there anymore. I mean, it's just a fucking massive... Burnt down clubhouse. Unser's dead. Gemma's not there. She's dead. Chucky's like the last guy there. The club never really go to Telemoro anymore. Just a sad state of affairs all around. Um, just as breakdown. This was quite sad. Um, you can just see this guy's mental health deteriorating before our very eyes in season seven, and also a bit before that as well. But this scene was pretty brutal as well. Um, Clay and Gemma's awful fight when Clay battered the shite. Out of Gemma. I mean, did it make me break my heart? No. But was it sad? Yes, because it was like an end of an era. It was like after this, you just knew this was the fight. This was the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of Clay and Gemma's um, marriage. It was never, ever going to be getting sorted out after this. Never. Not in a month of Sundays, man. To let you know. Not in a month of Sundays. Um, Otto. It just, it simply says Otto. <laughs> um, yeah, like, honestly, I mean, I never really truly felt sorry for him, like, his whole time while he was in jail. But, you know, you're first introduced to the guy, season one, you don't really feel sorry for him, he just feels like another guy locked up. But season two, he gets his other eye stabbed out, his wife dies pretty much back to back, and it's like, damn. And then he does a few favours for the club, Um, then he finds out, potentially, that Bobby was the one that killed Luan, so he's like, well, fuck you, Bobby. And then... Season six, the end of season five, he's getting raped like clockwork by Link and a bit like Lincoln Potter, Lee Torek, and then his his his, his death, man, just like to see it when Clay walks in and just sees Otto lying there, it, it, brilliant acting, but it just tells you, I mean, he, he bit off his tongue. The guy's insane. Um, Jax's death, of course, Jax's death should be on this list, and it absolutely is on this list. Um, Half Sack's death is on this list as well. Yeah, it was a pretty sad moment. He only lasted two seasons, but he quickly became a fan favourite, and I totally agree with that. And then we've got um, John Teller's memoir. Uh, see, I was never really heartbroken by John Teller's letters. Now, obviously, I understand what Jax would be, and, you know, what Gemma would be, but for the fan... Should we be heartbroken? Like I think maybe in a first nine TV show, 
like when they dive into it, we will be heartbroken by the end of it. But at the end of the day, it's just writing and, you know, about a guy, like, it's letters about a guy we never get to meet and that is like 15 years out of date sort of gimmick. I never felt heartbroken by John Teller, if that makes any sense. But anyway, guys, that's 10 times the show broke our hearts. <laughs>